On the 16th of February 2021, the Spanish rapper Pablo Hussle was arrested and imprisoned in his hometown of Lleida, Catalonia for two final sentences by order of the Audiencia Nacional in Madrid. A two-year prison sentence for glorification of terrorism in his songs and a second sentence of nine months in prison for glorification of terrorism in a song and several tweets as well as a fine of 10,800 euros for Lee's Majest and another of 6,750 euros for insulting state institutions, which add up to days in prison for each installment he fails to pay. His imprisonment sparked a wave of protests and has coincided with the government's announcement of a reform of crimes related to freedom of expression. Starting from that night, supporters protested in several cities across Spain with some protests involving violence and property damage. The protests caused rifts in Spain's coalition government, between PSOE members supportive of the police, and Podemos members supportive of protests. In Barcelona, the capital of Catalonia, looting occurred at banks and businesses. A female protester in the city lost an eye from a foam bullet fired by the Mossos de Squadra, the police force of Catalonia. Violent unrest occurred in other Catalan cities including Hussle's hometown of Lleida, as well as Wick, Girona and Reyes. Outside of Catalonia, violence was reported at the Pueta del Sol in Madrid, Valencia and Bilbao. The mayor of Madrid, José Luis Martínez Almeida, reported damages of €200,000. The media focused on any violent episodes to discredit the protests. Barcelona's mayor Ada Colai, of Enco Podem, condemned all violence and voiced support for the police. This position was questioned by Dollar Sarbata, a popular unity candidacy member of the Parliament of Catalonia. Almeida in Madrid acted in favor of the police, while Mayor Joan Raibo in Valencia critiques the police response as disproportionate. Spain's Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez said, in a full democracy like Spain, violence is inadmissible, violence is a denial of democracy. The second deputy Prime Minister, Pablo Iglesias of Podemos, supported the protests. The first deputy prime minister Carmen Calvo condemned his position. The official Podemos Twitter account said, every time that people denounce a democratic irregularity in the streets, the media powers put the focus on the unrest so that we stop debating the root problem. And nothing changes. The fact that we don't fall into that trap doesn't put us on the side of violence, but rather of democratic progress. Podemos's parliamentary spokesperson, Pablo Eshtenik publicly supported the protests and first condemned their violent elements on the 22nd of February. In the Valenciennes community, a similar government rift was reported between the Socialist Party of the Valenciennes country and its allies from Podemos and the Coalicio Compromise.